Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strike. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title today, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the brand new makeup line. So Halsey already has a high-end makeup line, but she actually came out with an affordable makeup brand called AF94. I believe every product is under $10. So I have everything here to show you guys. We'll try it out and I'll let you guys know if it's worth your money. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, you know what to do. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so let's get into it. I'm obviously gonna have to go through things pretty quickly because we do have a lot. But as you can see, this is the PR package. I had no idea that I would get this PR package. It just arrived at my door. So um, just really quickly, it says that Halsey created A94 so that all you can change the thrill of standing out and tense high performance color and accessible price. Although you will find subtle nods of the 90s through the collection, this brand is made for the now. However, that looks to you. I just realized that this is probably called AF94 because she was born in 94. I was born in 94. We're getting old. Okay, so um, I do have, I believe I have every single product, but maybe not just every single shade. Probably the best thing to do is probably just start out with the eyes and go from there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyeshadow crayons. I have three different shades, but there are 10 shades available. So these are the Shadow Boxer Velvety Eyeshadow Crayons. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to use all of them. I don't have anything on because I don't know if I'll need anything. Um, because they are cream shadows. So first we're gonna start out with the shade Tenderizer and I'm just gonna apply this on the lid and blend it out. This looks like a really pretty like maroon shade. So it's applying really creamy, but when you touch it with your finger, it definitely becomes almost like a powdery finish. So I have a feeling that these are gonna set like a powder. So let's see, I'm thinking that maybe we could use the neutrals on the top and then don't worry I will use the color maybe on the lower lash line you guys always get so mad at me when I don't use the fun colors I don't want to get bullied anymore so I will use those colors okay so this eye I didn't blend with my finger with um, like the lid I only blended the outer corners and it gave me a more dramatic look and then this with my fingers I got more of a natural look so it definitely can go smokier if you want. Why don't we just go smoky? So I'm gonna really saturate it and then only blend out the edges with a clean brush. We have both lids done. I did put the long goodbye in the inner corners. And I have to say, for first impression, um, so far so good. They're very creamy. They apply really easily, but you do have to kind of be careful when blending them out because I do feel like they do tend to blend out and lose a lot of the pigment, but like I said, you could always just leave it saturated and then just blend out the edges. So we'll see how this sets, but so far, so far I am liking it. Obviously I look weird right now, but everything's gonna come together. I think we should um, use the liquid liners next. So for the liquid liners, they're called the Backline Highly Pigmented Liquid Liner. Again, they are available in 10 shades. I have three shades with me. It seems like the colored ones are metallic and then the black one is matte. I think what I'm gonna do is do a black wing liner first and then maybe add the green one on top and see if we could do something with that. And by the way, the formula does seem pretty pigmented, very liquidy, and it does come with a felt tip brush. Okay, so that was pretty easy to work with. Um, it's drying out pretty matte, and it was really easy to work with, and it created a really good wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Honestly, first impressions, I really like it. It's affordable, it's completely matte, it's pigmented, and it's easy to work with. So let's go ahead and see how these work out. So this is the shade Casino. I'm gonna, I don't even know what I'm doing. Maybe like add a line right on top of the black one. Hopefully this goes well. Can you guys see that? I kind of just used it as a little bit of an accent. But it's really pretty. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I prefer uh, brush tip eyeliners, but these felt tips are very, very tiny and they're very precise. I mean, 
pretty nice. So I'll do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so overall first impression thoughts. I think if you were going to get one of these eyeliners, I would probably get a colored one and not the black one. The black one is nice, but it is dried so matte that it almost looks a little chalky. It's not bad, but I'm definitely more impressed with the colored ones just because they do have that like metallic finish and they're easy to work with and they're pigmented. So I do like them and I would definitely go for the colored ones. So moving on to mascara, we have the Push to Start High Impact Volumizing Mascara and it is available in four shades. I have two shades. Okay, so I do have a black one in the shade black and then I have a blue one in the shade Bada Bing. Because we are going to be applying fake lashes and they're black, I'm going to use the black mascara again on the top lashes and then maybe we could use this on the bottom just to try it out. So here's what the one looks like. Promising. Okay, so I have curled my lashes. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see the mascara because we do have so much eyeshadow on, but I will let you guys know how the formula is. So we're going to go ahead and do two coats and see how well it works. So this is what the lashes are looking like. Keep in mind, I do have pretty long lashes. I have to say, this is the first product I'm not really impressed with. The formula is just a little bit too dry and like moussey for my taste. Um, it just doesn't put as much product on the eyelashes as much as I would want to, but who knows, maybe the blue one might be like a good colored mascara. I know that they don't have a lot at the drugstore, so before a black one, I definitely think there's just like way better ones at the drugstore, so this was just like, okay. Not horrible, okay. I will say though, the fake lashes look really nice. So these are the False Advertising Vegan Faux Lashes with up to 20 uses. They do have three different styles, and I have the style Lash 01. These look really nice and wispy. They look like they're gonna be more on like the natural side, but very long. Yeah, I don't think I need to cut them, so they actually fit my eye perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on these and apply it to the lashes, and we will be done with the first part of the eye look. This is what the lashes look like. They're very, very long. I feel like they would look prettier without such dark eyeshadow because you can't really see how PC they are. But I will say they were easy to apply. They're very pretty and they do have a clear band. They're very user friendly, I think. I give these a thumbs up for sure. I mean, these were so easy to apply and they feel very, very lightweight. So thumbs up for that. Moving on to the face, I believe the only face product that we have, it's like a cheek tint. Um, the rest is lips and eyes again, and then we have a dewy skin mist. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some foundation, concealer, bronzer, and we'll be back for the blush. This is called the Playdate Multi-Use Cheek and Lip Tint, available in five shades. I only have one shade, and it is the Soft Smile shade. So let's see, oh, cute. Really pretty like not overly pigmented but like still a really nice shade so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some on the brush kind of load it up and see what we can do with this this is a little bit more sheer than I'm used to and the shade is a little lighter than I'm used to so it might take a couple layers to actually show up on my skin it's really nice it's kind of like a thin formula and as you can see it's a little luminous but it's not shimmery it's almost just like dewy but it's not like greasy so that's what that looks like i'm gonna go ahead and powder my under eyes real quick and then i kind of want to see if it works well over powder i know it's cream but i use all my cream blushes over powder anyways the reason why i like to use cream products over powder is because they'll be a little bit more pigmented and they give that glow back that i lose with powder see i just feel like that's gonna look better and now my under eyes are set, and so this will give my skin its glow back. So this is actually really pretty. So yeah, if you're looking for a really easy to use, very um, beginner friendly, very natural blush, I do think that you would like it. You guys know I go ham with a blush, but I can appreciate a natural looking blush. I do like that. Okay, so moving on, I guess we can come back to the eyes. So next we're gonna go ahead and try the Star 69 Sleek Precision Gel Liner, available in eight shades, I have two. Please comment down below if you know what Star 69 is. Just let me know, like who is in my age range? What is Star 69? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, okay, so these are retractable. So we have a white one. Wow, very, very pigmented. And then we have this orange one right here. So I think we're gonna go ahead and use a white one just because I know you guys want me to use color, but 
let's also make it look good. So let's go ahead and use this on the waterline and see if we can brighten up our waterline. Very pigmented. See how I'm not even like holding my eye down? So this is very pigmented. I really like this and I also like that a gel liner like this is retractable because when you are using eyeliners like in your waterline and it's like a wooden one, sometimes it hurts. So, uh, so far these are really nice. So let's go back really quickly to the these little like stick shadows. I'm gonna use the shade Sawado. Sawado? I have no idea, but let's go ahead and test this out. Why not? And just do the lower lash line. My God, I kind of look like my mom in the 80s. Mom, if you're watching, remember when you used to wear eyeliner like this i've seen the pictures this one's really really pigmented such a beautiful color that's kind of cute i do wish i could put on some black mascara because i feel like that would look cuter but whatever whatever for the sake of the video we're gonna do the blue one because i know you guys would probably want me to i'm not going anywhere after this so why not let's go ahead and see what dreams are made of let's see if this does anything the mascaras I don't love the formula. Um, you know, if you just want like a colored mascara for like a fun night out, um, this might be fun, but I just don't think it's the best formula. I kind of want to see if we can just mix a little bit of black in there just for fun. We can have blue black lashes. Now that I have the black, see how it's not really doing much for my lashes? And I have pretty long bottom lashes and I don't know, that looks pretty good, but this is like my third coat, so. Okay, so, um, cool, we're almost done. We have a bunch of lip products, but why don't we go ahead and set the face and then we'll do a little swatch party for the lip products. So we do have this little guy right here. So this is called the Plea the Fifth Dewy Skin Mist. It is a pretty small bottle, but it is under $10. This looks very interesting. I have a feeling I'm about to get Dewy AF because I can like see like the oil in there. Okay, nice and soft mist. Oh wow, I can barely feel it. Very, very soft mist. This is actually pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie, because it came out very, very like soft and it definitely added dew to my skin, but I don't see any like crazy droplets. And the thing that you can do with dewy skin mist like this, obviously you don't wanna be shiny everywhere, so you can always go back with a powder. Um, I prefer pressed powder, and I'll just blur out my pores, my chin, and maybe a little bit on my forehead. And now I have dew where I want it to, so that's actually really, really pretty. Not gonna lie. There are stickers. These are called the Joy Stickers. They're playful face and body stickers. I have a feeling that you guys, one of you is gonna enjoy them more than me, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these um, in my giveaway pile, but pretty cool that they offer that. Really quickly, let's go over these makeup wipes. I'm surprised that they came out with makeup wipes, I'm not gonna lie, but I guess we can use them to take off the lipsticks. So these are called the Friendly Rewinder Clean Erase Makeup Remover Wipes. If you're looking for new makeup wipes there you go so let's go ahead and try all the lip products really quickly and then we'll finish off the video so this is the scribble stick glossy lip crayon available in eight shades and I'll be using the shade magic I only have one shade so that's what that looks like it's very pigmented easy to work with um, it's not a twist up so you are gonna have to sharpen it but it's nice and glossy, so if you're into this look, I do like it, and it performed well. So moving on. So next we have the Give Em Lip High Shine Lip Glosses, available in six shades. I have two different shades. So this one is a nice little pinky shade, and it's called Underneath It All. That is what that looks like. It's not sticky, but it is nice and thick, and it has a little bit of a Dofa applicator. This doesn't have any scent, but it is nice and um, it does have a good amount of pigment. I also have a clear one. The clear one has a different doe foot. This one has a little paddle, which I actually prefer. You know what? Why don't we try out the formula? I wasn't going to because they're the same name, but I don't know. The clear one, I might like a little bit better. Mm, it feels like the same formula. I don't dislike it. I mean, it's just a gloss. It's nice. It's not like amazing but it's just 
it's just a gloss so that's what the clear one looks like and now let's finish off with i believe it's liquid lipstick we do have a matte liquid lip so this is called the majorly matte longwear matte liquid lipstick 10 available shades i do have the shade uh bb doll this is what it looks like it's like a very dusty purpley look so I'm going to go ahead and line my lips to try to like make this work for my skin tone so we can finish off the video. This is Elf Retro Paradise. I believe it's discontinued. Oh, wow. Very pigmented. Mmm, this smells really good. It smells like vanilla. So I'm just going to blend this in and see how it dries, but very pigmented and more of a thin formula. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Put some more, blend that out, and I will be right back. I feel like I look like a completely different person, but hey, that's what makeup is for sometimes. So this is the final result. Um, the liquid lipstick is pretty. I will say I personally don't wear matte liquid lipsticks anymore. Um, unless you're going to put a gloss on it, it is going to be matte. It is going to be a little bit drying, but if you don't mind, this is actually a really pretty formula. Overall, I guess the way I'm going to say is I don't hate anything. I think the only thing that I kind of disliked was definitely the mascara formula. Other than that, everything was pretty good. I guess my favorite product would definitely be um, the Dewy Skin Mist. If you're looking for dew in a bottle, you guys will really like this. I also really, again, enjoyed the liquid colored eyeliners. The gel eyeliners, very soft, very nice, very pigmented. It glid right on. I think the blush is really nice. For me, it's a little bit too natural, but I do think that a lot of you guys would like it because it's so easy easy to work with and the lashes are really pretty too so overall I do think it's a great brand I think it's awesome that a celebrity came out with an affordable brand even though she already had a high-end brand so um, I believe these products are all available at Walmart of course I will link everything that I use down below let me know your thoughts are you guys excited about this brand have you been waiting for it let me know what you guys think and if you have tried it let me know what you've tried so thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye.